totally see it from Ice Age. Now you can't unsee it. I don't care. It's still an awesome figure. What is up, guys? Sardo back again, also known as a black gentleman. And I totally lied to you guys about the boxes. I'm just going to show you this box. I'm probably going to stop after this. But this is a Transformers Kingdom, War for Cybertron, Optimus Primal. And the box art is so good, I just kind of wanted to show it because that's a cool way of gorilla. And this is a cool way of transformation. So, yeah, there he is. So, yeah, it's the front of the box. It's the back of the box. It's got 22 steps, which isn't bad at all. And that's it for the box. And I can go in trash. <laughs> you also get some accessories that you normally do. Uh, Let's we'll start first with the instruction booklet. You get that. Instructions are fairly simple. You kind of don't need them. Because this thing transforms almost how you think it would. So, uh, yeah, that's that. You also get a collector card. Uh, they may all be random, but I got Optimus Prime. And it's pretty cool. And if you peel it back, let's see here. Now he's dead. So, uh, yeah. You essentially get Earthrise Prime here, and you get Amazon exclusive, dead in the motherfucker Prime. So, uh, yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> uh, you also get his two signature curved swords from the cartoon. And they both look nice enough. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are just gray plastic and the handles are painted. That's what I'm say. So, that, But the detail is very nice. Very immaculate. Very good. I mean, well done Hasbro. Oh, uh, no real hollow bits on them, per se. And they can peg onto the back using these pegs here on the sides. And I'll show you that when I get the bot out. So, uh, yeah, that basically covers all your scissors. And here he is, Optimus Primal. And he is magnificent. Very simple design, yet awesome, straightforward. And I guess you can really cut the video off now, can't you? Because I already took I feel about the figure. But it's good. Um, man. <laughs> uh, the accessories he have is sparse. But then, hey, it makes sense. Let's take a really look at him. Uh, the paint on him looks really good. Um, I have a little bit of a scuffing on my the box here on the leg. I don't know if you can see it pretty well. Uh, but it's not so bad. I'm not mad at it. Uh, man, uh, even when you turn from the back, the backpack, he's a backpack, but it's not horrible. In fact, let me fold this piece up. Even then, that's not horrible. I mean, it's like a gorilla. The hair has to go somewhere. So, uh, yeah. Nice, nice, vibrant white. Nice, honestly, vibrant red. Even down here to uh, on the feet here, where you get his uh, you should call these pistons here. Even those look great. Uh, red and white here on the arms, on both sides. Uh, nice chest work here, which is very accurate to the TV show. It's very good. Uh, light blue paint, uh, off blue in the center, with the red going around the circle here, kind of like an Iron Man type deal. Nice, nice, very nice red eyes. And he has to open mouth. I kind of wish we had um, a change of face. I know that they wouldn't do this with a Voyager figure. But I would love a way to like cover the mouth up sometimes. Because when he goes into battle, he'd get more like off of his prime where the thing would slide down. But, you know, hey, whatever. It still looks good. Uh, another thing to paint. I wish, and this is simple. I wish the nails were black. Like in the, like in the cartoon. And on the MP. But, like I said, that's a small whatever in my thing. Uh, let's get into the <clears throat> his uh, articulation. Uh, you have your two guns up back here, and they move back and forth how you like. They can also be tucked in, which I'll show when I transform. Uh, the head, let's move the gun out of the way. The head is on the ball joint, so you can rotate full 360. Mine's a little tight, but that's fine. I ain't mad at it. And as far as up and down goes, you can get this little teeny weeny bit up and just a little bit down. Not much though. As far as the arms go, you get a full 360. You can move on the hinge, which again is very tight. About that far. Get a bicep swivel. Get a full 360. The elbow can rock all the way up to the shoulder, which is great. Kind of too bad he doesn't have a gun, but he never used guns before. Speaking of guns, hold the arm out here. You get the, the wrist blasters, which are kind of hard to get out. You gotta like push in from the bottom here to get them out. 
kind of tough, but they do have articulation as well. You can rock them up so much, and that's pretty good. Come down to the hands, get a full 360, and they do open. Also a nice touch. <clears throat> the arms exact same. You come down to the waist, rotate, get a full 360, but you will leave behind his fupa. <laughs> Is a beast mode fupa, so yeah. <laughs> uh, as for the legs go, uh, you do have a little bit of a <clears throat> a little bit of a swivel here in the thigh, so you get a little bit of that, a little bit of that, which is me enough. Kick out that far. Now the knees are interesting because you got you got your normal bend, which is right here. This line's a little tight, like that. That's your average bend, but due transformation, you can untab this here. Let me, let me do it here. Ah, crap. You can totally untab. There we go. <clears throat> untab from this the knee pad here. You can get even more. At that point, he can kick his own ass. So, all right, moving that back into place, which is, I so see everything on mine is very tight, which I'm not mad at, because I'm probably gonna transform this thing a lot, so it has time to get loose. Uh, Come down here to the calf, and it too has its own little rotation. Not much, just a little bit, and that's muscle for transformation too. His beast mode, ankle has ankle tilt, left and right, but that much. You can bend forward, do transformation, and I think that's more enough. I like how the pistons move, kind of with the, with the feet. Pistons don't hinder at all because they're on ball joints inside the leg, so that's all good. Now, as far as full trial goes, he can go about that. Oh, oops, excuse me, he can go all the way up. Before he wouldn't do it, but that's about as far as you can get, and that's plenty by itself. And you can see everything that someone gave him. <laughs> uh, going back to his weapons, they slide in very easily. As you can see, Oops, if I can get in there. There we go. And they look how you want them to look. Um, if you don't want him to dual wield, which you can do, you can take uh, your swords using this peg here and this little slot here, and you can slide it in like that so all in all pretty good matter of fact let's go in with that sword so we can put both in there yeah come here you there we go <laughs> so you can put both back here if you want to and that's probably how i have mine displayed though although honestly once i have all of beast war figures i might put them in the beast modes we'll have to see how that works out for me so there you go um he does one negative i do have is a uh, this right here? I wish this could fold in closer because you have a little bit of a, a little bit of gap there when you turn it that way. It's not so bad, really, but it, it has to be spoken on. I feel like I feel like this whole chest piece should maybe pushed in just a little bit to remedy some of that. So yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and push his guns in. It's kind of hard to get out. Like I said before, you might take your spudge or something and push in from that side. In fact. I believe I'll show you here on camera. Let's do it with my spudger, guys. Look at my spudger. Uh, I don't see it. Ah, well. Yeah, all right. Let's use this screwdriver. I don't recommend this. Do it at home, kids. Yeah, so basically, what's the thing you just take your finger here and push in like so. But it's so hard to get out. I just take this right here and just push it all the way in. So that makes it easier to get out. But I recommend the spudger. Oh, one more point of articulation I almost missed. Right here, you have a slight butterfly. Well, that's mostly for a uh, beast mode, but it's there. So use it as much as you like. And that's about it for articulation. And let me get some guys in here for some comparisons. And here he is with the Beast Wars crew as of right now. I don't have a Cheetor, and I'm not that impressed by Cheetor. So I'll get him whenever. I'm not in anybody's hurry. But uh, yeah, here he is with Black Aratnia and Rat Trap. And I think that scale works out pretty good. Not mad at all. Can't wait to get a hold of Megatron eventually. Sadly, I missed the GameStop release of it. So I'm, I'm forced to wait a while. It's okay. And here he is with Optimus Prime. Who I thought that he had no comparison. I thought, I thought Earthrise Prime was the best figure just mainline ever. I think he has some stiff competition with Optimus Primal. 
But you know, that's a bold statement I'm putting out there. But uh, yeah, I just I don't know. I just something about Primal's paint, man. Just <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, they look good together. They're both Voyagers, believe it or not. But Primus, normal Prime is taller, which is fine because you know he's a truck. And this is a damn ape, so whatever. But uh, let's get this guy transformed. All right, first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and just remove the swords. Don't imagine you don't have to, but I find it easier. All right, let's do the first thing that's easiest. Go ahead and plop these down. And we're gonna go ahead and just reverse the waist. This is like the easiest thing to do first. And then you're gonna squeeze this down. It's like a little hole here. And there's a pig inside the fupa. I don't know what to call it, it's a fupa. But, uh, <laughs> and there you go. It doesn't always stick that good, but you know, that's whatever. All right, now I'll come back here and fold in the robot feet. Like so. And he's already, already a little half eight man. <laughs> All right, gonna go ahead and rock your legs back, like so. And using that extra joint there, like I showed you in the knee bend, gonna bend this down about like nice tight, like so. So you got something that's kind of like this, if that makes sense. All right, you're gonna pull the backpack out. And you're gonna, so it's on a it's on a, ball, it's on a uh, ball, but it's on a uh, mushroom peg. So you're gonna swivel it like so. Now mine's very tight here, so you might put a little elbow grease into it. But move the arms out a little bit, and you're gonna pull the whole back out, and it's a little tight. Especially mine. There we go. My God, it's tight. All right, matter of fact. Go ahead and leave your legs down a little bit because this gives us a little bit of room. All right, now this is free. Uh, you're going to go ahead and flip your chest forward to reveal the more eight chest. Take your head, pull up on the bar here, and swivel it like so. Oh, while you're back here, take your guns, unless you just want them out. I don't like mine out, so take your guns and just push them down inside. Be forewarned when they're, when they're down inside this cavity. You're gonna need something to push them back out because they're it's kind of tough. Unless you got nails, I don't have nails anymore because I bit them off. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. All right, now come back here to your ape head, push it up, rotate it 180, and pull fold forward. And go ahead and push that back down. Actually, let me see. Here. Yeah, push it back now. Like so, and collapse the chest back. Okay, you hear that nice click. And okay, now go ahead and rearrange the legs into a more, I guess, primate positioning. <laughs> like so. And you want to put, put your arms more forward. I wish there was a way to clip this in so you didn't see the robot stuff. But apparently the MP had the same had the same kind of an issue. But let's see. But yeah. That's basically him transformed in a nutshell. Now let's talk about it. All right, now I'll transform. I got him clean up a little bit. Uh, it looks good. Um, again, I kind of wish you could kind of hide the robot pieces, but you guess you can if you just kind of rotate the arm more in that way. That way you get more of a cleaner look. And I think as far as monkeys go, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Now you turn from the back here, get a little bit of side view. Uh, things again, robot pieces are shown again, but I think you got it head on, not bad at all. As far as articulation, the arms are exactly the same as you saw before. The head has a, has a good up and down. I wish it had the beat, I wish it had the beats for MP changeable faces, but you only get this one face, so that's it. I wish that I wish the eyes were just a bit more expressive. They seem to be a uh, brown ish, black people's. But uh, yeah, it's just way it's way. It's not it's not bad mode. And the head, you can kind of get a 360. Well, you can because of the transformation, but it's hollow inside, as you can see. But it's all good. Now, if you wanted him to stand up, you now more of a beat his chest kind of pose. What you gotta do is uh, and this is instructions. You just move your arms up. Just go ahead and get my way again. Uh, come back down here again. Um. Using that extra joint in here, 
pull this back up. All right, you're gonna, gonna bend this right here, and you're gonna rock it forward like so. And you can in that second joint right in here. You're gonna bend it downwards while holding this right here steady. And you get this right here. If that makes sense. I'll do it again on the other side. Uh, pull this. Gosh, uh, that's so tight on this on this thing. Uh, pull that forward. I feel like I'm using a lot of strength on this thing. Like that. And you're gonna bend the hinge down like that. And let's see here. Let's get that down. There we go. Now the thing about this right here, it ain't pretty. Because you know you can totally see the little joints in here and everything. But I think if posed correctly, it won't bother you. You just bend the head down and put the the monkey butt back down, kind of, to kind of hide some of this. Just lay on top, and you get you get more or less this. This look. And then you can kind of butterfly the arms in a little bit, so you get more of a. Oh, also use these. Use, this is now going to be your, your way of opening the feet up a little bit more using this uh, swivel here. So yeah, you kind of get that, which I kind of like more. I mean, if, if he's walking, he's going to be on the fours, but. I kind of like this. You, know, you can kind of get the arm up. You can get the old toy pose where you, you know, he can kind of like beat his chest and whatnot. So it's kind of cool. Let's see. Eh, something like that. So yeah, you can kind of get that going on. Well, it's kind of like a boxing gorilla. And so forth. If you, if you have them straight forward, it's not that bad. But when you turn them sideways, you know, things begin to fall apart and the back's even worse. <laughs> I think I think straightforward looks good. And again, if you want the guns out, just pop them back out, put them back out. You want to hide your swords here again? You can still do that. But I think when you're gorilla mode, it's just best to put this stuff away. And again, you can pop your guns out. That's what you want to do. Overall, I like the beast mode. Just wish things were hidden a bit more. But yet again, I can't. I feel like I can't get mad at it because MP deal with the same problems. But one thing I like over the MP. This thing has texture. I mean, just check out the, the fur. Actually, molded in texture. Even the chest. You no, know, the skin looks tight like it's stretched. Or all good. Too bad that mouth didn't open. So, yeah, let me grab some more things and we can do some more comparisons. And here is how he compares with his Beast Wars cohorts. Is that the right for it? Cohorts? Uh, pals? I don't know. Uh, Black Arachnian sometimes in front of me. Uh, yeah, so here they are. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I might have to do this again with his legs down, but this is how they look right now. And of course, because someone might ask, how does he look with Prime? Like that. <laughs> totally out of scale. Just, that's just totally out of scale. But no, hey, it's whatever. You know, it's, it's the generations line, scalings, whatever. But I. It's King Kong versus the truck. I don't know, but it, it, it's fine. It's fine. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and recompress his legs and do a size comparison again, just because I'm curious. And here he's back again with the more, with the more uh, on all fours quadruped pose uh, with his other Beast War friends. Uh, I think that's okay too. I might actually like it better like this. I think. Let's, let's see here. Yeah, I think I might like it better with him on all fours. I, I like the size comparison even better. And just for fun, here comes Prime. So you can see how that scales. It doesn't, but in case anyone's gonna ask, it doesn't. Now let's get that final thought out of the way. And yes, uh, in his buttocks, you can plug in a fixed hobby stand. I'm sure you can probably plug in other stands too. But yeah, it totally works. And he looks glorious. Is quote Megatron? Yes. Um, he's a pickup. If you're a Beast Wars fan, he's a pickup. I don't have anything I can really say to not pick him up. Unless you just don't like Beast Wars, which is fine, honestly. A lot of people don't. Um, yeah, he's, 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 he's worth the money. Shit, yeah. Uh, his accessories are a bit sparse. You just get the two swords. But, you know, he got his built-in ones. He has a cannons in his forearms. And he can't on the shoulders, so he's got his gun, he's got firepower. Uh, I didn't show it, but yes, you can take a, 
an energy effect, and you can plug it on either, either his form guns or shoulder guns. So they do work. In fact, here let me let me show the shoulder one at the very least while we're here. Let's see it. There you go. So yeah, he can totally. Okay, I get back there. Yeah, he can totally fire from the from the shoulders with the with the energy effects. Forearm too. So that's a, that's, a, that's a good point to note. Yeah, he's definitely pick up. He's um. For me already, he he may he may have outclassed Earthrise Prime for me in, as my like a like a mainline figure, man. I mean, I, uh, Prime is still really good, but this this is something about this thing. Uh, maybe because it didn't have to turn into a truck, <laughs> maybe they were able to get more out of it as far as like a two way still goes. But man, this this thing this thing is sweet. If you like if you like Beast Wars, pick him up. If you like Prime, will pick him up. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they, that they redo Optimal Optimus. I know they did it, uh, the, what was the Titan's Return, was it? Version of them, and I wasn't impressed by that. I'm wondering if we might can't get another version of that that's built more like this guy. But time will tell. We probably won't. I'll probably end up having to buy the perfect effect, uh, the Beast King Gorilla, Gorilla, or what thing called. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm just, um, rambling now he's awesome bomb but before i got out of here uh gotta rep my people as normal check out my fellow rejecticons they put out awesome content if you're not subscribed to them you are missing out you really are uh i have them all all the links down here below as normal that's larkin's lair kato's collection and inotabi check them out man seriously also check out three live stream with the host of such being pack uh, also stars M3, both cool ass dudes. I have a link to M M3's channel also as well. Uh, but be forewarned, uh, don't come in there sensitive. You will get your feelings hurt. We just we'd like to just hang out, shoot the breeze, talk about a little transformer news. But for the most part, we're just having fun. But we don't cover language, so uh, yeah. Be forewarned. It's not for the kids. Then again. We just a channel leader. So there is that. So uh yeah. This is a solid news, but also known as a black gentleman. Out here doing God's work with these figures. That's just prime.